Welcome to the Some Laugh Podcast. It could be like, oh, that was some laugh, or there was, there was just some laugh. Some laugh. <laughs> well, no promising all laugh. No, <laughs> it's, it's, there's going to be some. It's some laugh. Much a boy. It's Thanks lovely to have us, you Gary. here. Are we going? Yeah, no, we're in, we're in deep. No, it's good to be here. Thank you for having me, Lance. It's Thank nice you. Nice to be here. We uh, introduction for much of the listener, or should we just? Why have you no, done this? Please, man? how that many would make... episodes have we done? Like fifty? No, we don't. We never. We never start. Sometimes right? I would like you to give me an introduction now. That Some, you've sometimes we it, talk but... for like half an hour, then I go. We should introduce the guest. Yes. 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 By the way, Gary Little's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fourth voice. <laughs> you've been His name's Gareth Much, not Gary Little. I, I think he was doing a callback call to well, the that, that actually, I was doing a joke. As a listener, I, I get that. <laughs> I know that you've spoken about this before, but that is one of my favourite stories about you, Gareth, talking about your, your name. Obviously, done a show a few years ago, and it was called, because it's called yeah. Gareth Much, you've done a show called Much I Do About Nothing. Which I thought was genius <laughs> at great. the time. Yeah. Like, it's I really good. thought, and it also, good. I kind of thought, you know, I didn't have a theme at that point or whatever, uh-huh. so I was like, that keeps it nice and open-ended, it'll be yeah. fucking easy. Uh People expecting Shakespeare. Well, that's exactly fucking what happened. <laughs> really? So, so, uh, Stu, I've done it again. I did <laughs> that in the car. He's confused. I did that's that the, the first time anyone's ever done it on the podcast. I did it. I've already done it today. Car. I've already done it today. <laughs> uh, that's going to happen again. <laughs> so many more times. Like, we're friends. We've known each other for years. Do you know what I mean? It's not like we're just meeting Gareth. Yeah. Now. yeah. yeah. And Stuart, Stuart feels like he's been on a pursuit in the last couple of like, years. To distance years or so. myself from this man. So he's just trying to look his lit. I can't like, even Stevie. I genuinely can't even remember. Who was it that did the joke about like. I used to have a routine about how. And it was actually before i met this steven yeah, yeah. that people That's just call people call me steven even who don't know you see i go the other way just i call him Stu. i i yeah but i, I, up, I, I upgrade this guy <laughs> yeah i've i've had that for since I, before i knew you there's like there's a steve my, i've got an uncle steve so like my gran will call me steve and you know it just happens all the time i got mm. tagged in a thing the other day with somebody like commenting uh, to another like comment or some other guy about me and he's like oh yeah and you should also check out Stuart Buchan <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> Buchan, yeah. Stuart Buchan yeah that's perfectly done there's no way of knowing who that was <laughs> yeah well the fact they didn't even get my second name right is kind of leans more to you I don't know I'll Maybe. take it but Stephen Buchan's definitely more you than it is Stuart McPherson. No, Stuart Buchan. Stuart Buchan. I've got oh, a full name, but he's got... Me. I figured I missed that. <laughs> you're still getting still confused. Think you're still thinking. I have no idea who either of you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, the first show I did, and there was like this fringe preview day that this guy was running in Dunfermline. Uh, and he was like, oh, we'd like you to do much to do about nothing at this fringe preview. And I was like, fucking sign me up. Where man. was the venue? Was it like... It was a cafe on the high street in Dunfermline. I can't remember the name of it. I do. Um, totally ideal. And my show was on at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so I knew a few of the other comics that were doing their show on the same day. So I phoned them up being like, how are your ticket sales going? And they were like, Man, not good. Weirdly, the cafe in Dunfermline isn't yeah. shifting not, not a hot ticket. <laughs> it's not shifting ticks. Uh, so then I phoned the promoter and I was like, how many tickets have I sold? And he was like, oh, you fucking sold it out. Fucking 50 people in that room. They've all bought tickets. And I was like, wow <laughs> who knew all the fucking Mudgy fans lived in Dunfermline yeah. right? hot ticket, man. so I turn up there but one o'clock in the afternoon uh, I'm just stood there and I'm watching all the people come in and it is it's, it's rant it is it's <laughs> properly properly busy but then I do just realise something's a little bit off here because I'm like I think like 19 to, no 20 21 at this point and I was like something's a little bit off here everyone here is like really really old <laughs> <laughs> like painfully old and i was like this isn't like my target demographic if i can say that mm. and then it just kind of clicks in my head of like what i thought had happened and what had happened <laughs> was they'd all bought a ticket to see much ado about nothing <laughs> thinking it was like a one-man shakespearean play <laughs> <laughs> and i just fucking talk about my dad's dick for like <laughs> And it was so, it was so, so bad. Like, I can't, I wish I could fully explain how bad this gig was. Like, five minutes in, this woman in the front row took out a book and started to read it. How Fuck quickly sake. do you explain what is actually happening to this audience? How, how do you mean? Like, I'd start doing By the, way, the show. Like, yeah, I can I see start, that you cut one shake. Oh, no, I had no skills to 
deal with that right, in, okay. in, at, the, at that time. So, you just so I was just like, White I'm clothes. doing the words. <laughs> I am doing the words. And about 20 minutes into just doing the words, so I It's go, become a one-man recital, really. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a tragedy at this point. <laughs> uh, so, I was like, so I saw this woman reading the book and I was like, right, I'm just going to talk to her. And I was like, oh, what book are you reading? Thinking this is going to lead to comedy gold. <laughs> and she was like, I'm reading Carnegie. And I do know who Andrew Carnegie is, but in that moment, the panic and everything. I went, oh, who's Andrew Carnegie? And she genuinely, she looked up, so fucking annoyed at me. She was like, how dare you? <laughs> Come to Dunfermline and not know who Andrew Carnegie is. And then with no irony at all, she just went, have you never played the Carnegie Hall? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I'm in a fucking cafe on the high street in Dunfermline, but I was playing the car. When we do Hamlet, we do the big room. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the more niche plays, you know. It was so, so bad, man. That Fuck was like the, the worst. And I had like the comics that were doing like the show after me were in the room just brilliant watching the just it was brutal. It'd be really funny though if actually they didn't think it was uh, Shakespeare, they just hated the show. At face value. Now, you know what? <laughs> you know what? That is what Liam Withnail said happened. <laughs> but it wasn't. And I know it wasn't because uh, an old boy from Linlithgow told me at the end, he was like, ah, we all got a bus from Linlithgow thinking this was Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Shakespeare like, supporters yeah, bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from Linlithgow as well. Weird place. But yeah, uh, yeah, that was definitely by a, a country man. So that's, that was actually the moment where I went. some of the blame for that. Your no, poster does not look like no, that. No, no, it did. Oh, it did. Yeah, I was in like a, a full fucking rough. guy. You're not going to do it. It was him and like, the fucking what's there that? was a rough fag in the gub but it's <laughs> that thing they wear around the collar from like fucking Broadway daily baby. record <laughs> yeah, yeah the giggle daily record must see show for Shakespeare <laughs> um, but it did not look like a Shakespeare play did that not also kind of happen because you had a show called like Game of Loners at the Fringe which one year which was nothing by the way that's, that's a not terrible even, pun that's not way. even close to Game of Thrones <laughs> yeah it, it's not we, even close did we speak to Waugh about that no no I don't but think so I think oh it was the worst it was you Gareth Waugh and Granger and yeah Robin Granger, Granger. Uh, did oh, you speak about Game yeah, of for Thrones? like two minutes we'd give it a quick chat <laughs> we were like what's the one theme between us at this point we're like oh we're all just kind of sad fucking shit guys and <laughs> Robin was because Robin had just done breaking gags the year Aye, before because I was going to say I'm sure did you just not do that a few times we, like, <laughs> Robin had done you always say Robin. shows like that they, they try and capitalise on the yeah. zeitgeist so that's, that's yeah. what Robin said he but was like really it really helped us that. last year <laughs> It really helped us. Me and Grant, uh, Gregor Wappler cleaned up last year with, <laughs> with this breaking gags title. She was like, we should do Game of Thrones. And then someone pitched Game of Loners and we all just went, yeah. Why not? Chuck that in. That'll do us. And how did um, it do? Fine. Not not great. But it, some people did turn up thinking it was going to be like a show about Game of Thrones. Yeah. Because again, it's... the poster looked like, yeah, yeah. we're definitely going to talk about Game of Thrones. That's kind of like the sort of thing like a Game of Thrones podcast would be called or something, isn't it? It's like, oh, like we are so much yeah. loners because we love Game but of Thrones so much. Yeah. Yeah. Stu's right. It doesn't even really scan as a pun. No. Game no. of Thrones and loners. loners. I can't picture an accent where that would work. No. And like Game of Thrones is who's going to win the throne. That's the Game of Thrones. What's the Game of Loners? Who's going <laughs> to who's gonna get the biggest gimp? Yeah. <laughs> So, can't say that word again. You I actually would have offensive words. I know. A few people have touch I these actually things. would rather we called Joe the biggest gimp. <laughs> would have been better. Gimps of thrones. Who's the <laughs> biggest g- gimp of thrones? That's good. That's pretty good. But the hang. But the, here's the thing that the Shakespeare crowd should have picked up on that you yeah. spelled it with a T. The much like your surname. Yeah. Exactly. So really, it's exactly. they should have known. It's down yeah. to them. You'd think no of problem. all audiences. Be them, you know, they'd notice. I'm amazed that the literate. woman didn't have a Shakespeare. I thought she'd have like a book of the play and then she's reading a lot. Subtitles, see if she can no, keep yeah, along going, I, <laughs> I don't remember this bit. This must be a fucking <laughs> modernized version. Um, <laughs> but no, man, it was it was genuinely terrible. So that was kind of when I moved away from the much puns. But I remember there was one, uh, I was doing a gig with Jim aka the reverend obadiah steppenwolf mm-hmm. uh and he was like in the car with me and he was like uh by the end of this gig you'll have your next i'll he's like, I've, i'll come up with one i'll come up with a belter for you i'll give you the next much pun and then he speaking to him as jim and then he just like when we're at the gig he came out as the rev and he went 
I got it. <laughs> Star skiing much. Because <laughs> I think of the poster. You on a car with a gun? Oh, no, no. Moving away from it. You didn't use it? No, no, no. I didn't. Weirdly, I didn't go with Star It's skiing always much. good Great. to have that in the back pocket, though, because you can, if you choose, just always call your shows something like that, you know, with the. Well, much, here's. Yeah. Much appreciated. Have you used that? No. That's quite good. How much for that? Muchy in the window. Much Oscar Gracias. <laughs> See, that's why I, I do tag off like some texts and stuff with that. We much Oscar Gracias. But, uh, I did two. Uh, the only two I did was much about nothing and too much too young. Those were the two mm. that I did. What's um, your new special called? I'll be honest with you, because it's just a little phrase that I found myself saying on stage. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's, that's anyway, good. I like that. And they are all kind of true stories. That's so good. it was like a Tom Segura mostly stories sort of vibe to it. Um. But then also, I don't know if I actually will call it that. I might just fucking check up and you should be like, because it's better so comedy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, you, felt, so you filmed your special in Edinburgh the other night? I did, man. Yeah, yeah. How did it go? Went really, really well. Uh, I don't think it actually could have went better, if Brilliant. I'm honest. No, let's wait till um, we see the edit. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> I, should, I really should come down. Uh, but no, it went great. I, um, there's, I don't have anything funny to report about that. I'm afraid it just, it did just go. It looked nice. cool, man. What you did with the room and everything was saying. I liked it, man. It's gonna look good. I did. Uh, I'm lucky that my fiance at least likes like that's what she does. She like works in like she's like a wedding decorator person. So like she did just go into her fucking work unit, steal some up lights, stole a. Uh, Really? Yeah. Ah, All the tables smart. have themes. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen you never use <laughs> the favors. cowboy thing in the background of the stand. You, you put didn't. a curtain over it, which yeah. is smart, I think. You just make it look a bit different. I thought that exactly that. For a few reasons, you know. The one was a uh, good friend of my guy, Wall had recorded his special there during the Fringe, and it's coming out soon. And I just didn't want us both to be releasing things that looked... Because it's a small enough room, like you can't shoot it incredibly differently like it's gonna look yeah. similar yeah and that backdrop being so iconic and stuff i was just like it's gonna look too much the same and you that's not beneficial for fucking, either of us you are both called gareth, both called gareth. And and i could have called it too much the same yeah it could have been the whole thing you know shot for shot remake of <laughs> same jokes do you get uh confused for gareth? all the time yeah i thought i remember uh i got booked to do elgin town hall when i was like brand new and I should have had the foresight to go, this booking can't be for me. I think I'd done like, honestly, something like 10 gigs. It's and then this room, guy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and especially at that time, like your 10th gig, yeah. it's like 750 people or something. Uh, was it full? Yeah. Fucking Simon hell. Evans was the, the main draw that night. Right. Uh, but I had none of that. No, I was like, yes, yeah, word's probably spread from the first nine gigs. <laughs> Shit's going pretty good for me. Uh, and he was like, yeah, we've seen you and we've heard really good things. We want you to do Elgin Town Hall. And then I got there, went up to the promoter, shook his hand, went, I'm Gareth. And he went, no, no, you're not. <laughs> and I was like, no, I, I am. And, he, and just to my face, just to my face, just went, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there's, been, we've, there's been an error here. So then I just had to go on and fucking, I think I just looked down the whole time. I didn't even look up. <laughs> Talk about how hard it was uh, to be ginger. Man. Yeah, <laughs> did you try? I did this gig and done for me. Oh, yeah. Fucking just see what you did there. <laughs> I was like, why would I talk about Jim? Whoa. <laughs> Trying to half remember all his jokes. But it happens all the time and we get tagged for it. That's what usually happens now. We get tagged in each other's gigs all the time on tour. That's Aye. what usually happens. Bad yes. admin. Speaking of that, it's interesting you talk about when you were starting out because probably the first time I was aware of you, Gareth, was I remember uh, people arguing with you on the old uh, comedy forum oh back God. in the day. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I'm so glad that I let's go missed there. that. Let's I wasn't go there. I wasn't. So basically, Gareth Vinny oh, let's, is, let's go is there. Come to career. Well, do you want to explain what? No, no, was? you kick us off. You definitely so, kick us so off. So, Gareth, you, you basically got people were giving you shit because very early in your comedy career, you decided to start teaching comedy. <laughs> 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 they definitely thought that. <laughs> and that's a hundred percent how it appeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's also what happened because it's what but happened. it's not what happened it's not what happened and that was that was the the true tragic thing about that is uh i had i had no fucking idea that that post went up so basically it was a a friend of mine was running uh theater workshops at the time 
And then he knew some people in poetry, so he'd started doing poetry workshops. Did he get you in because you'd done Shakespeare? Is that what it was? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So then I just, I was in like, with de definitely within the first year, or yeah, year and a bit of stand-up. And he went, oh, Gareth does comedy. And he's not, he's not in comedy. He doesn't fucking know like the rules. So he asked, he was like, well, I've got this poet running poetry workshops. I'm running theatre workshops. Why don't you run comedy workshops? So I said to the guy, uh, no, I can't, I can't do that. I well, you're not comfortable doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, lesson number one, if you're in a big room, just look down. Uh, so I said, I can't do that, but I know some people that can. And it was like Viv G, uh, Raymond Martins, and I gave him all their like contact information. And then he contacted them, and I think Raymond probably went, I'll do it, but for a fucking big fee, baby, right? <laughs> so, so my, still not getting a nice podcast. So, yeah. <laughs> so, my, so my friend, who doesn't know the ins and outs of it, goes, all right, okay, well, I'm negotiating with Viv. Raymond's going to cost too much. So, we'll, we're doing the comedy workshop, so I'll just put Gareth's name down on the fucking Gumtree ad or whatever it was. It was I'll just put Muchie's name down for now. Because he is, he's, he, he, he's doing gigs, he's a comedian. I'll put him down. Two weeks later, or like a week later, whatever, I get a message from uh, another comedian going, have you seen the forum? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> What's going on? I was like, well, they're, they're talking about you. And I went, <laughs> well, hopefully this isn't an Elgin, this is positive news spreading. <laughs> and I go on, uh, and there was like, it was like back in the day when it was like a proper forum. It was like, yeah. yeah and, uh, and, on it, and there was a thread posting, yeah. that was just titled, who the fuck is Gareth Mutt? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I click on that going, I know who he is. I'll be able to shed some light on this. Uh, and it was, fuck it, I'll name him. It was John Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> who was like, has anyone seen this? And posted the Gumtree ad. I hadn't seen this. I had no idea <laughs> that that was out there. So he goes, and then, and now this is where it becomes really funny. The guy who's now one of my groomsmen at my wedding, Keir McAllister, was the next to jump in on it going, fuck this fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> we need to protect comedy at all costs. Which, by the way, I've never really, really got that. This self, we comedy. are the comedy police. Let's kill them. Yeah. You know, I've never really got that. But Keir and John were there policing, <laughs> doing their neighborhood watch, and they, were f and they were fucking gunning for me. And Keir had this beautiful line, because I'd got a review from The Skinny uh, that said, like, I saw Gareth in January, uh, and I saw him in, uh, s seen him now a month later. Uh, at this rate of progression, he'll be selling out the O2 by March, right? So that was the quote I was using. We'll, <laughs> we'll be selling out the O2, right? As you would, because it's it like not a bad quote. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've got a Shakespeare show to punt here. Uh, so Keir took that quote and went, the only, <laughs> the only way this, <laughs> the only way this, <laughs> the only way this cunt's ever going to be selling out the O2 is if he's selling ice creams, right? <laughs> so I'm there going, oh, everyone hates me. Like I'm, fresh out the box like i was everyone <laughs> hates me this is it's it's gone away from me so i just put put one thing up going uh, if i also didn't know this was real <laughs> like i had no idea about the Such advert shame. so everyone thought that i was just punting comedy workshops when in fact i and did I, they I never agree once you said that did what, what were they like were they cool with you or weirdly no yeah they didn't back down really they, yeah they, they don't kinda, tend they, to do they that kept going um <laughs> Did you ever do the workshops? <laughs> Double down That's on it. Because it, it sounds me. like if <laughs> well, we've had some been... great press. Because <laughs> it sounds like you were. It was just. I think this know. will get people in. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it going like this. Gareth much guy says he knows he's talking. Do you about. remember that? Do you remember actually reading that at the time? Yeah, I think oh. it must have been just when I'd started, or maybe yeah. I was reading it just after it happened or something. But I remember seeing it. There were so many threads at the time that was like, "This new guy's so good. Watch, keep an eye on him." And I'm like. I got, let's kill this kid. <laughs> yeah. But you never, because how did you end up not doing it? Just because you thought I'm getting too much I was never it. doing it. He's not right. supposed to be doing it. I was it. never, ever doing uh -huh. it. The guy just used his name. So did yeah. anyone do it? Uh, no, the guy that was running the workshop then went on the thread and he started battling them. And he was like going, shut the fuck up to John Gavin. And I was just like, I'm staying way out of this. 
Um, but no, weirdly, the workshops never ended up happening. What a shame. How well, many gigs in were you at that moment? Was that? I can't really remember. It would have been like, it was early. It was too early for me to be running comedy workshops. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why I That's wasn't we're running all agreement of it. comedy <laughs> workshops. But it was just this big mis- it was this big misunderstanding. Because the thing was, is if I was where I was now, and I saw someone do that with, to like a person that was like a year in, I would have the same opinion as like John Gavin and Keir. I'd be like, yeah, we can't have people teaching comedy that don't know how to do comedy. And it's not as if it's like that could never happen in the world of comedy. There yeah. are some fucking crazy people out there. Yeah, indeed. Well, it's a hot up place, man. It is. So it could easily happen. <laughs> hot take. Hot take. <laughs> the world's a fucked up place. Really. When, when I see premise. Steve do new stuff, he always, this premise to every single world's joke. World's a fucked up place. World's a fucked up place, guys. <laughs> Let's get this puppy in the road. <laughs> when, when you said that last night, that was brilliant. So was that Red Raw last night and Stephen was closing. Got your name right now, too. There Pretty we go. Good. Yeah. Pat myself on the back now. <laughs> uh, and he just went in with us to go into the next joke. He just went, anyway, let's uh, get this puppy on the road. <laughs> and then he just immediately caught himself and went, that's not a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> remember, that, that, remember that solo show and you just kept saying fucking... Looking good, feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it became like the thing and you, I don't think you meant to say it, did you? No, it was just, that was just what I, I was Fun looking good say. at the time. I just lost lots of weight. And was it you two that did the yeah. donut show? Yes. Uh, yeah. Me and, me and this You guy. must have spoken about that. Well, that, yeah. that was your idea though. But that was like very much, that kind of ties in with the game of loners and all that. It's like yeah. at the time you were like, this is going to get people in, which it, which <laughs> it did. Which it did but for fair. all the wrong reasons. Yeah, exactly. Well. Shouldn't have called it Game of Donuts. Poor word for now. <laughs> so but, you were um, talking about last night, you want to say a bit, because obviously you are, so your partner, Ailey, yeah. fiance. Yeah, thank you. Is a uh, correct title. Come on. And partner, yeah. That's what it's <laughs> to catch all of them. Yeah, she, she's she been working at the stand for like nine years, eight, nine years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like a weird tradition at the stand that if you've been working at the stand for like a while and you go to leave, you have to do five minutes at Red Raw. Mm-hmm. I'd only found this out last night. I didn't know that was yeah. a thing. I think a lot of people shit out of it. Yeah. Uh, I'd never heard it. I it's a, it must be an Edinburgh thing. I don't think it's a Glasgow thing, uh-huh. is it? Right. Is it a weird, the... weird thing to bridge a divide over? That's <laughs> what one of those Edinburgh. fucking shy bag Edinburgh <laughs> yeah, things. No, no, no. We're too good for that. But it, does, is it during a shift? So because otherwise she's yeah, yeah I yeah, mean yeah. she's getting she's not getting paid for work basically. No, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, she literally hopped behind the bar, served it, everyone drinks the interval. Show starts. She goes backstage. Gus brings her on. She does five. Uh-huh. Goes right back behind the bar. And that was her first um, ever gig? Well, it wasn't her first ever gig. She did comedy for kids when she was like 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she loves to throw that in my face. She was like, <laughs> I kicked the stand before you did. <laughs> um, but it was a weird dynamic. And I'm going to be honest, and I'll throw this out to you lads as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't really know how to play it yesterday. Because she was like, right, I better write this five minutes for Red Raw. And I was like, do I let her get the full experience of writing a set and seeing how it goes? Or because... I am now, you know, professional comedy workshop guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's about I, PTSD of number I, one. I can't teach comedy. I can't so teach, I can't. John Gavin will hate me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't know how involved she wants me to be. Right. Uh, so how how would you all handle that? Because like I didn't just like take it and go fucking <laughs> say this and you'll fucking smash. Listen to daddy, right? I didn't do that. But I did, I was trying to like push her towards... Well, what's your USP, Ailey? What do you want to say? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was trying to push her towards... Uh, she's doing yeah. a five for one time. She doesn't need to find a voice, does she? <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking French but PR. But that was kind of... <laughs> but that was kind of... I was like, I think it's funny immediately that everyone else you've already seen has, like, like a dream of this and you don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you should say that. Like, this isn't my dream. I'm doing this because I fucking have to. Um, and then I also thought it's funny that her mum's a comedian. Yep. She's worked in a comedy club for nearly a decade and now she's marrying a comedian. Mm. And I was like, just do like a little fucking, just shit on comedians and just be like, if you want to know the truth about comedians, it's basically just this. And it's like, oh, my ego, was that funny? <laughs> fucking justify me. So if that, I'm not fucking get the validation of strangers, I'm a horrible <laughs> cunt. <laughs> so that was your, because I was trying to, I was watching it last night and I was like, wonder what bits much is and what bits hers. Yeah. And but you said that she see, was see the ones that got laughed. laughed. <laughs> 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 but like I would like to, I would like give her a joke and then she'd like say it back to me differently. I'd be like, no, don't, 
don't riff. <laughs> <laughs> don't be riffing on this. <laughs> say what I said. He's not got the chops. How I said it. <laughs> it's a Even do the little eyebrow thing that I did. Drink it all in. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but how would you play that if like you were if your missus was it depends if they're gonna do five if they if she wanted to actually do it and write it herself and yeah go for it but if she was like can you write me jokes and i'd help her out for a fee aye of course i'd be like mernsey would be top dollar <laughs> 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 yeah but, you gotta let her decide don't you? yeah I mean, if she's asked for help you, i'm not gonna be like you're on your own baby you she know? didn't <laughs> okay she didn't ask for help but she was what she was kind of throwing out there I was like, that's shit. Yeah, yeah you could also do this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, there is yeah. a balance. Yeah. In that well, you you yeah. do that with your pals, don't you? You'd bounce ideas yeah, well, off each other. Exactly. And you're friends thinking. with your best friends. Fiance. Oh, cute. Best friends. Very cute. Mm. I'll know what's happened if I see Catherine up there going, the world's a fucked up place, guys. <laughs> 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 that is. No, we should all be starting our jokes with that. We should all be starting our jokes with that. Would you, like, <laughs> how would it have been for you if she'd died on her ass? Would it be difficult? I mean, watch? it wouldn't have been difficult. Would you be loving it? Uh, I wouldn't have been loving it. There's, <laughs> mi- there's a middle, gr- somewhere in the off. middle between there. Yeah. No, I probably would have just went, I, I do make it look easy. <laughs> She's not, not going to be selling the O2. I, <laughs> I, 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 the honest, the God's honest truth is I was probably more nervous for her five than I was the night before taping the show there. I, I, I was, was going to say, I, I've, I've don't really ever see you nervous. You're just quite a, an easygoing guy, but you'd looked genuinely nervous. Yeah, because I, wa- I just wanted her to have fun. That was it. I just wanted, I didn't want to see her, like the person you fucking love more than anyone, standing all awkward and your yeah. friends at the back going, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Like, it just would have been shit for her. Oh, it would have been she good was probably to... loose and she fucking yeah, had she was funny. great. It would have been good for you if seen what she feels like when that happens to you. <laughs> How do you mean? <laughs> well, explain that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm what the you, fuck? I'm just saying you're like, you know, I'm just saying when you die in your ass, she knows what it's oh, like. Oh, wow. Well, Jesus Christ. Christ. Lucky, lucky for her. Uh, a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is our guest, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're them to shreds. I can, I can laugh because God is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all a joke. Uh, it's called some laugh. I honestly, yeah, I'm having some laugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I, I don't know. I think she did say as well the night before, she was like, I've never really been nervous for you. But again, the night before, she was like, she was like it was a proper fucking like the night before you yeah, yeah she was yours. like my stomach was in bits and yeah stuff. you're special and you only because you've only filmed it once so you got one go at it but you know what he did yeah of course and you hadn't done that show in that order no it was Prior the first to time turning the cameras off and I was oh, f- fucking about with it like uh, up until like the day of because mm-hmm. there was like 30 minutes of like engagement stuff and I was like I don't want to just and originally, I was just had that all back to back, and I was like, "That's going to be too much. You make, can't just talk about thread. one thing for exactly." So I was like, "How do I thread this out? Thread this out? That's a puppy on the road." If <laughs> <laughs> I said that with so much conviction, I, I how do I it. thread this out? That's not a thing. I believe that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was fucking about with it even like till like the day before. I think I was talking mm-hmm. to Stade about it, and he was like, he gave me an order, and it was completely different. To anything that I had, and mm. also as well, and I knew he meant well, but he was like, "Here's how you start it: don't go out there and say something shit like how are you doing.' <laughs> we don't care how they're doing; we care about you. And also, it doesn't play on the fucking YouTube's when you're like, hey how the fuck are we?' It doesn't play. They're in their fucking <laughs> pants, watching it in their bed. And I'm like." Feel like I am definitely going to start by asking them how they are. I just feel like that. You can uh, just cut that. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, yeah, I was, that's what I said to him. I was like, I'll say it, and then we'll cut it, and we'll come in. He was like, but that's being a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got there and just go with your first line. So what's your first line? And I tell him what the first line is, and he was like, all right. Well, then you open with that. And I'm like, well, you don't sound great about it, Tom. <laughs> so then I thought, and Tom was going to come down as well, and I was just in my head going, oh fuck, if he's there, I'm going to. Shit bag out, go, how are we? I'm just gonna <laughs> see fuck <but> pussy. <laughs> um, so I was not honestly, I was really overthinking it, and uh, yeah, and I, I did have those thoughts of like, fuck, I've, I've only got one 
take at this. But then I I think I was just like, you know, you've got the edit. If it's if something yeah. if you don't like something, you can move it. It doesn't necessarily have to even go in that order if it still makes structural sense. No. You could end on how are you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um no, it was it was a a, a good experience actually. And did I, you I, say I, how, how are the the, of course I did. Oh yeah, of course. Let, of course let I did. me ask you this because I'm filming mine in a few weeks and like so. Where are you filming? Are you filming at the Kings? Uh-huh. Are you going to say yeah. how? how Fuck well done? yes. No, I'm not a pussy. No, you're going to go straight. <laughs> Tom's into listening to this now, going, "I fucking knew Mark was brave." <laughs> <laughs> I've always said it about that kid. He's brave. <laughs> <laughs> Jennings <laughs> takes punches. <laughs> we spoke about you coming down in like a cherry picker as well. Yeah, right? I'm so going to do that. Yeah, I mean, going to be hard now. Because I was cherry picker like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was thinking that. Did you book that we UK tour to get that show? Fully ready of for course. the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, why I went yeah. to Australia. Different, yeah. fucking, different vibes. Different vibes. Because I was <laughs> asking different you vibes. last night, oh, you were saying you were doing older bits, and I was like, oh, did you even rehearse? No. 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 Because I, I genuinely feel like that helped. I back that, by the way. I would tell, if you're throwing in any older bits, I would I would genuinely back that as advice to not go over it too much. Yeah, but you can go over it once to so you because you said you didn't even know you were on speaking on stage. And you I found it. Where... I totally found it. Yeah, but, but there was there was, was one a big bit. pause. No, 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 no. It was just me going. There's three things I do every single time I go see a scary film. First thing I do. <laughs> so first thing I do. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> what are they? Um, uh, oh yeah, talk. I talk through <laughs> the. No, that's not it. Uh, but you know, but I think it genuinely made it feel more like yeah. I was saying it for the Your first time, and it looked spontaneous. more spontaneous. Yeah. Mm. But uh, the hard thing is, so see, there's a certain bit, particularly if you're like, all right, this begins a clip or something, and you go, I need to get this word perfect. It fucks with your ability to be in the moment and to just sort of be natural with it. So did you not worry about it? Did you just try and go, I'll just bottle it and then hope it comes out all right in the No, no, I fucked up a couple of lines. A couple of uh-huh. lines got fucked up. And then I like that became the the, the joke. joke in the room. Sure. And then I'd go back to say the joke again. And then that would get a big laugh just by me restarting it. I'd go, no, we can't do that because that'll look now <laughs> mental in wow. the edit. Yeah. So I'm like, right, we all need to just fucking relax here. <laughs> See that? Like we'll get this. Yeah, exactly. I did. And then I did it again. I just heard one and I went, no, that's enough to fuck it. <laughs> so, like, but, so, and then I did eventually just go back and mm-hmm. go back to that line and keep going from there. So I was like, in the edit, if we watch it and we go, now nah, we could lose that, then we totally can. Yeah. But also, right, how wank can I get here? I, I do kind of think there is something to be said for. I quite, I quite want it to feel like it's a in the room kind of yeah. Show. Aye, absolutely. Well, yeah. that's because again, people. And I quite. Li- I would. I if I was watching it, I would quite like that going. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so many specials that are polished. Yeah. And like good. <laughs> you don't want that. Other words that sound like that. a compliment that have an undertone. <laughs> uh, but do you know what I mean? Like there are so many specials that are polished and just like. The material's been honed, and it's this is the best delivery that it could be. Show ready. Yeah, I think a bit of a Fuck rough that. and ready. I think a bit of a rough and You're ready. You're capturing that live experience mm-hmm. that you do get when you go to a comedy. And it's another reason why I thought the Edinburgh Stand was the one to do it because that's the one I'm most comfortable at. Yeah. There was also like a pit. This was a fucking hilarious thing to happen. Uh, right at the start of the show, I do this joke about how I got gout in lockdown. <laughs> Uh, I remember I was gigging with you the first night after. Remember the, the yeah, first yeah, time yeah, we're back yeah, in yeah, clubs? Yeah, and I was limping out the place. I'm very sure. Like, Fuck's sake, man. That of course you have. Much as I stink a goat. I don't want to be on the show. I was like, I'm going to let it go. It's not got gout, do I? Uh, gout's um, quite a. Do you remember <laughs> in that gig? Because we did like four or five gigs that weekend, yeah, when, yeah. right? Like in that summer when the monkey opened up. Shout out. And you were doing, you were talking around having gout at the top, and you were like, has anyone in the room got gout? And then one one of the nights, like four hands went up, and one guy was like, "How long did you have gout for?" He was like, eight years." He went, eight years. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Everyone else was like, "I don't know, a week." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Fucking hell, you can have it for eight years. You're like, genuinely worried. Is this is what you? I'm like. Yeah, well, I was like, "This is my future." <laughs> what is gout? I don't know. Just gives you. <laughs> you a, still got gives it. Gives you a sore, t- sore feet. If I'm being honest with you, lads, and uh, I don't actually ever think I got gout. I think I got. <laughs> I, I think I got bad. another thing called because yeah, it, it was in my heel. It was always 
was always it was always like yeah fit. call the show I'll be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's all fucking lies, man. It's all crumbling down now. It's all fucking. That, I'm, like, not even getting, I'm not even getting married. <laughs> not even getting married. Uh, but yeah, I think I had another thing called like plantar something. Ah, right, uh, yeah. But gout's funnier. Yeah, it is. So, very funny word. Yeah, and people know kinda what it is. Yeah. So I talk about yeah, getting gout in lockdown uh, at the start of the show, and then right at the end when there's like, uh, and I'm really, and I'm really in my head going. We're fucking sitting in this nice. We're, we're building a fucking little moment here. And I just said something. It's quiet like this. I'm really just taking my time to fucking be in the moment. And then a guy in the audience went, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Jim Obadiah? <laughs> I got it. I got it. Much ado, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, that's, good. that's actually good. That's good. Uh, that's I think good. that is an applause break. <laughs> I think that's earned it. Thanks for coming on, Gary. <laughs> Pleasure. Pleasure. I ain't dropping that. Uh, but then that was that was fucking sensational. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so he said that. But then like that became like the so I fucking r- like ripped the moment of of. Of, he's been sitting on that for 45 minutes this cunt. he turns to his friends going I've got one just, just you wait till I deploy this I'll no I'll time. wait till it's a really silent important part of the show that's when I'll really that's when you'll appreciate it most so it's just things like that of like and someone like dropped a glass and stuff like there was a lot of you're gonna keep all that in I think I, I think so but I don't know as Stuart said <laughs> uh, until you like see it you you don't know, yeah. but I, th- I honestly, at, at this moment, I think I will. I mean, you don't usually see that, like you say, in specials, so yeah. it, that yeah. would be a bit different anyway from that point Absolutely, of view. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. You talk about Tom Stead, who we spoke about probably more than almost anyone else has <laughs> not been on, but yeah. the, uh, you obviously you, know... You'll come on, for sure. Know. He'd love to come on. We'll have no, no, we'd love to have him on. And three minutes of it will make the other <laughs> <laughs> A lot of bleeps that week. All right, yeah. so fucking trans people, let's get into it. <laughs> so you, you, Are you, you a B? Are you a B? <laughs> <laughs> so Has you, anyone ever met a Q? <laughs> <laughs> so you, obviously, you, you've got a close relationship with Tom more than, more than a, a lot of people in the circuit. You actually stayed in his house for a while, is that right? Yeah, when he moved to London... Uh, that was the first time me and my now fiance moved, like kind of lived together. Mm-hmm. Was because he asked me to basically just pay rent on that place for him while he went off to London. So I was just like, "Yeah, fucking Ailey, why don't you move in? It would be like a nice little trial to see if this works." And it, it did. But yeah, so no, me and yeah, me and Tom were. Was there not a story? You, know, you, you had the party one time though when you oh, were at his. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just in my head going, the neighbors of Tom stayed. Must be used to this by now, <laughs> like they must be. So we just we just moved in, uh, and we were I think at the stand and like a bunch of like other comedians and a few staff members. We we're like, come back to fucking our place. And we all jump in this cab and we go in. And we're fucking blasting tunes and fucking smoking. We I'm just I'm just going. What would Tom Stade do? Is what I'm <laughs> playing out the evening, uh, and then I get a phone call from Tom at like three in the morning, uh, and he's. Uh, yeah, he's like, "What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Turn the fucking music down." <laughs> the neighbors, the- Gareth, there's fucking other people <laughs> in the fucking world. Man. <laughs> it's three a.m. You can't be fucking blasting Lady Gaga at this hour. <laughs> <laughs> so the neighbors obviously complained and fucking spoke to Tom, and I was very sheepish and went round the next day and uh, with a bottle of wine and apologized. And I'm sorry, I just. I was playing. I want to be Tom Stage. <laughs> Turns out he's respectful. Who knew? Yeah, that's, I can just imagine him having this whole other life to his neighbours. That, yeah. but did you not say <laughs> to me though that they just said like this is oh, we just thought that when Tom went away, we'd finally get some peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy did say. But Tom, so so uh, like things like that just kind of always seem to sometimes go his way. Like I remember. I was round at his once again after a gig and we were like like smoking a couple of joints and like having a drink. But it was like me, him and like three other comics. It uh, wasn't like a big raging party. But his neighbours at the time, they were they were always fucking phoning the police and just any sort of level of noise they'd phone. 
so we're in his living room and Trudy's his wife's coming in going, Tom, the fucking police are here. And Tom's like, all right, I'll deal with it. I'll fucking deal with it. <laughs> and he goes down and I'm like put, stubbing out the joint and like going fucking right, hide the shit. <laughs> I'm panicking. Uh, and then Tom comes upstairs and I can hear him going, no way, man. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> and he like comes in. He's like, who's your favorite comedian? He's like, oh, I remember the policeman went, oh, I'm a big fan of John Bishop. He was like, I was just on the fucking John Bishop show. Let's fucking watch it. <laughs> so I'm now just sat next to this fucking police officer as he's getting Sky Plus up and he's like, I recorded it, man. I recorded it. And he like puts on it. I'm just sat next to him and he's like decked laughing, going, That's oh, good. He bitch is good. <laughs> nice guy, bitch, man. Off my joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smoke up now. You're off shift now. <laughs> and I was just like, only. That would only happen to Tom. That's he's got do an episode where he's on, but we don't do the cameras, and it's just you doing an impression. Of him from him. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think I got a, I think I got an all right one. I've spent a lot Tom. of I think I've spent a lot of time with the guy. It's yeah. a great impression. The little fucking it's the intricacies <laughs> that he does. He fucking points down his arm at you. Yeah, <laughs> and he does this weird breath thing <laughs> when he finishes speaking, man. <laughs> and you've just been on tour with him, right? Yeah, yeah. From How's that. Uh, like, uh, like yeah, October time last year or whatever. Uh, till now, uh, That's good. A good run. It was really, it was really, really good. And uh, we bumped into Ray Bradshaw uh, on the last night. He was in like the same travel lodge, and he kind of put it nice. He was like, "Are you two sick of each other? Because you've been on the road for like months." And yeah, we weren't. We were fuck, a, a proper little bromance was formed. I feel like over the yeah. last few months between me and Tom. Uh, yeah, done him really, for years. Re- I really, 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 really love the guy. I think he's fucking brilliant and That's just neat. i'm i mean i'm not the first to say this but genuinely i think like criminally criminally not as like, celebrated as, as it should be, as it should be yeah. i yeah. think it's weird to me anyway um see when you're on the road gareth yeah do you like because i know i remember you went to watch liverpool in the champions league final yeah. you're away for a few days yeah. and you brought what Nay, uh, luggage. A, a bum bag with a passport in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, I flew out to Madrid and I flew back three days later and I just had a fucking Liverpool top and the, the clothes on my back. Why? Bum bag for a passport. I don't know. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. Do you change your pants in the bum bag? Nah. That uh, no, was grim. <laughs> it was grim. I only, I only had a plate. I, I only you had a place like to it's a revelation that you've been on to you before. I, I only had a place crap. to stay for two of the nights as well. Oh, the third sake. night was a professional gamble. What did you do? Um, Where did you end up? It's a sad answer. <laughs> my my mom ended up booking me up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I, I feel, feel like I was. You packed your box. I feel, I, feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was maybe projecting an okay image of myself up until now, and I was like, yeah. Mummy bailed me out as soon as I was in a bit of trouble. You didn't that from stage. You know what's fucking rock and roll? <laughs> Get, Get your mom, mom to book you a hotel. <laughs> a travel lodge, buddy. <laughs> a be brave, Ma- dial the number. Yeah. Be brave. <laughs> be brave. No, fucking... Uh, Don't bit. say, hey, how's it going? <laughs> 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 Just you fucking fire into that question, Gareth. <laughs> Be bold. <laughs> Don't say everything. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. That's funny. You said in the car, we can find an easier way to get into this, but you said you had a story about meeting some weird guy when you're on tour with Tom. Beautiful guy. An amazing, one of the funniest, most interesting people I've ever met. So quick bit of backstory we're on uh, the road for two weeks straight uh but we have two days off and we've decided that it doesn't make sense to go home to then drive eight hours back after having like only a day so we're like we'll you're packing boxes we'll just... at this point. <laughs> this one fucking i'm packing right. uh, i'm packing well for the two weeks packing <laughs> um, only boxers yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah only that, your fiance, I'd imagine. Um, yeah good. No, mummy again. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so so we're, we're on the road. So we're like, oh, we'll just stay down there for two days. So I just asked Tom, oh, where are we spending the two days off? And Tom and his wife, Trudy, just start laughing. And I'm going, well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, and then he's like, I'm not telling you, it's a surprise. And I was like, 
Mm. I really wish you would tell me though. <laughs> and he was like, dude, when we booked it, we were dying laughing. <laughs> so we do like the week. <laughs> On the road, it's all fine. Fucking travel lodges, Premier Inns, only the best. Beautiful. Right? <laughs> and then we get to the two days off, and I'm like, can I know now? Like, am I allowed to know now, that, seeing as we're on our way there? And he was like, nope. You're going to find out when we get there. <laughs> I've got Ailey with me as well. So she's flown down from uh, Edinburgh to like come join up with us in Bristol and then spend four days with us, and then she's flying back. So where, So is that where he's in Bristol when you finish the last... No, it was uh, sure. Salford on the, for the right. last one. So he's in uh, Manchester. Oh no, sorry for the before the two days so off. Where, yeah. you, where are boots in the country? Are you when you are going to wherever the fuck he's meant to go? <laughs> Swindon. Right. We're in Swindon, and then we wake up that morning in Swindon, and we drive about an hour and a half, maybe, uh, to to this place, and we're in Western Supermare. So we're on the fucking around the, the. Is that what kind of wet southwest? Is it? Uh, it's the coast. Mate. T4 on the beach. Yeah. There's an arcade. <laughs> Big pier. <Fair enough. laughs> uh, and then Tom's like fucking going, right, we're nearly there. And we drive down this little weird like back road and we pull in. I see this big sign that says Sand Bay Holiday Village. And I'm like, I think caravans. I'm like, oh, we're going to be fucking seeing a caravan. That's not too bad. It'll be fine. <laughs> and then as soon as we turn the corner, there's just this big sign that fucking says Pontins. <laughs> and I went nah <laughs> nah and then he, he just starts pissing himself laughing <laughs> and I've never seen him more he's like we're staying in a fucking party <laughs> 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 so, and I, immediately I just made the decision well we're here We um, if I lean into this this could be great and it fucking it was a it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> have you have any so, of you ever been to a Pontins? What is Pontins exactly? Oh, Caravans a fucking and shit. wonderland. Is it like I've, a shit of Butlins? It's entirely that. Yeah, it's entirely I think that. I've been to Haggerson Castle. Everyone there was so so old, like <laughs> really. Oh, they fuck, expect some Shakespeare. Yeah, and they just kept <laughs> they just kept saying every old person we bumped into, "You're having a great time." They all said this. Oh, it's. Great value for money. <laughs> That's what everyone said. Hundred pounds, you get your. You can get more plates. You get your dinner. You can keep going up. <laughs> Yo, I watch out. You get gout. Yeah. <laughs> hey, stay away from the meat, my man. Uh, so yeah, so on the and like so many fun, so many funny things happened. So like on the first night, there was a Frankie Valley tribute act, and Tom was fucking. This guy's killing it. <laughs> 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 and like after the show we, after the show we like go, he's like should we go backstage and fucking go hang out with Frankie Valley and I was like absolutely we do that that's absolutely what we do now and he was sheepish for like a second knocking on the door going hey man don't want to intrude yeah for a 30 seconds like, hey man sorry don't want to intrude but just wanted to say the show was super good and then I, I'm not fucking shitting you the guy went are you Tom Stay?" <laughs> and I went fuck off of course of fucking course and then he's there wearing his jacket going, Stephen James rocks, right? It's fucking... <laughs> the next morning, going outside for a cigarette, and he's there. This is word for word what he said. We parted with him till like 4 a.m. And I leave our little shitty little cabin that we have, and he's just there smoking a bag. And word for word, he just goes, Wow. Fucking Frankie Valley knows who the fuck I am. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Does he the think fucking... it's the real Frankie Valley? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> uh, and then, but we met this guy. Sorry, this is all just fucking flim flam. But we met this guy called <laughs> T.J. McKenzie. I messaged him this morning, Brilliant. saying, "I want to tell your story. Can I credit you as the guy?" And and he went, "Yeah, fucking, I have more to tell you if it goes well." And I was like, "Well, here's open." <laughs> TJ McKenzie, fucking what a character! Shout out, um, <laughs> friend of the show, listener, patient. And, <laughs> and uh, he said, so he was like speaking about where you're from, and I was like, oh, "I'm from Scotland." And he was like, "Oh, I spent a lot of time up in Scotland." Uh, and he said he was like, "Oh, I was based in Cult Culty Bragan." Right. Has anyone heard of Culty Bragan? No. Nah. Uh, Me neither. So I went, you're fucking full of shit, TJ. You're just making up places that sound all culty bragging. I thought you're just like, and then like the next time I bumped into him, he had Google Maps up going, no, it's real. Look, it's a real place. And I was like, right, what did you do in culty bragging? He was like, I was in the army. I did like 18 months up there. And that was like our base. And he was like, one 
one time we were given this um uh, a mission i guess job <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> professional fucking army jargon gig um, gig let's call it a, a gig, gig. Yeah. let's call it a gig that's i can i'm An familiar with maybe i don't know gig gig i like gig but it, assignment probably was the correct <laughs> was I? I don't know if that's it. uh he's given the assignment <laughs> slash gig uh that they were put up in the hills and they had to get back to base camp as quick as they can there was like a few different teams and whatever team gets back there first got three days off and they were told and this is important this is an in war active in war scenario that's what they were to treat it as right <laughs> so tj is in charge of his team and he's like, I'm fucking getting these three days off. There's no way I'm not getting these three days off. So him and his team they come out the hills and they like find this little like back country road. And they just like, and TJ's like, right, I know what we're doing. And they just sit there for like 10 minutes. And then this van starts driving down the road. It's like a farmer, like the local land. And TJ and his boys just jump into the middle of the road. Fucking pull out the gun. Jesus Christ. Just point the guns at him. Yeah, just point right at the van. And they, th they throw him in the back of the van. I think probably still. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 and then they fucking and TJ said to me, he was like, We're explaining to him what we're doing at the time. We're not animals, we're saying to him, we're on an assignment. We're in war scenario, Got a gig. you're collateral. <laughs> so they drive back to base camp and fucking TJ's boss is losing it. He's like, What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And he's like, You said it was active in war scenario. This is what we would do. And TJ in no way could understand, he still can't understand why he was in any trouble at all. And the boss was like, TJ, you fucking just taking some guy at fucking gunpoint. <laughs> and he said this, he was like, this was supposed to be a two day operation. They were like six miles away from base camp. This was supposed to be a two day operation. You, you're back here in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then so he was like do we get the three days off and he was like no you don't get the fucking three days off you're a lunatic TJ and then they released the fucking they let the farmer go and then of course <laughs> farmer's still there tied up yeah. with all this <laughs> and then of course he does because he's been fucking kidnapped and held at gunpoint he goes to the police weirdly to TJ <laughs> so then the fucking TJ and he had a little this is what I loved about him he even had his own little punchline to the story he went yeah so I didn't get my three days off but I did spend 28 days in prison for fucking <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, that was by far. Hearing him tell me that story that was, was the highlight of Pontins. <laughs> so just for that alone, everyone should go to Pontins. Well, that's just a guy that you bumped into. Yeah, TJ McKenzie. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He does Facebook was, Live videos. He sings every Saturday night. For is tourists. he Frankie Valley? Was that? No, 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 no. no. You but, do feel like at these sort of holiday camps, like an ex like military person who's been in the jail is the sort of guy you expect to bump into. And that, and you will. And he'll tell you that Pontins is good value for money. <laughs> <laughs> it was so up, uh, man. Pontins was the fucking best. I won bingo on the second night. How much? 105 fucking pounds. Yes. Bingo. And all the old people just staring at you going, oh, that's one night for fuck so all. Good. Uh -huh. Paid for so your good. Mm. It's basically what two, uh, Tom was paying me to support him, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. No, yeah, Pont yeah. If Pontins. you haven't been to Pontins, I've not. Absolutely. You should do some go. laugh. Go to Pontins. Yeah. Sounds good. Can, cannot stress enough how class that would be. I've been to like other like Aye. caravan I've been to, parks. I went to like fake buttons once, I think, when I was younger. I'm like, pretty sure that's probably I'm pretty sure that is I don't know. It, just, it was just like, I don't think it had a name. It was just I went like to salt coats. caravan parks and shit like that. You know? Yeah. Salt Coats, Hagerson Castle. Aye. All so, the biggies. All the biggies. Yeah, were you not there when, did we not do a gig in a caravan park in Guruk one time? Were you there? Oh my God, if I was, I've deleted that from my brain. Yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten about views and then I met somebody for Guruk. I was like, oh no, I have been there. I think the only time I've ever been to Guruk is when I was uh, I for a very there. short window going out with a girl from Guruk who was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so you've just recorded your, your special at Edinburgh stand. You do have a, 
show at the Glasgow stand coming up as well, though. Yes, on the 25th. I really should have just Googled this before. I 25th. 25th. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 25th. Yeah, it's Saturday. 25th of March at 5 p.m., even though on the Glasgow Comedy Festival website, it, up till yesterday, it said 2 p.m. That is Great. inaccurate. That'll help you out. 5 p.m. Uh, yeah, tickets are £10. It'll be like a half of like engagement story stuff and half like work in progress new stuff. Brilliant. So, Maybe some more tales about TJ. Hopefully, man. Mm. Hopefully, <laughs> nice. you, and don't expect to be asked how you are if you go to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not taping that one, so you will be asked how are you. Probably, <laughs> maybe exclusively. That might be all I get. Nice and you getting else to plug? I know you've got your own podcast with, with Gareth Waugh, who we just had yes. on recently. Uh, did he plug it when he was on? I don't know. Did he? Probably not. I was no, probably not. I think he just plugged his. I will. Uh, I'll be the special. professional one uh, for both of us. Yeah, me and my good friend Gareth Waugh have a podcast called. Two G's in a pod, which it's a great good name. title. When I came up with that, I was that was fucking that's the rest of the day off shit. Because you're uh, both Gareth and two P's in a pod. Short for podcast, by the way. I thought it was there's like, layers. Yeah, there's layers to this. Mm-hmm. It's like two, two for, layers. For, <laughs> thank you for three G's, Gareth P pod. pod. <laughs> that's the one. Like. Podcast. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even get that layer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <It's very funny. laughs> Wow, this is really hilarious. That was so. That was a very unironic. Uh, un- oh wow! <laughs> wow, that is clever. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so stuff. two G's in a pod. It's great stuff. It's available wherever you get your podcast. There you go. And uh, and then uh, just follow Gareth on online and stuff like that. For Please. Updates on what he's up yeah. to. And Gareth, much. He's a funny boy. Right. Go funny, bones. funny bones, funny bones. Been that O two in no time. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as ever, guys, you can uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. Give us a five star review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and you can follow us at Somewhere Pod on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you have any anything you want to email us about, you can do that by emailing somewherepod at gmail dot com. And also, also remember to sign up for the Patreon. Have uh, until next time, guys. We'll speak to you soon. See you later. Cheers, much. Cheers, cheers, Such a cheers man. Bro.